One, three, five, seven. What number will be next? Of course, two, one, seven, three, four, one. Because of this polynomial here. The question is, how can we come up with such a polynomial? Here's the math. Whenever we have like five values, we can find a fourth degree polynomial that satisfies all these conditions. It's unique as well though. And in fact, it doesn't matter what the last number that you picked right here, the following will always work. So let me show you how we can construct such a polynomial. This method is by Lagrange. We start off by saying f of x. And then pay attention to the outputs. The first output is 1, and then we want 3, and then the next one is 5, and then 7, and then the last one. 2, 1, 7, 3, 4, 1. Now, let's think about it. When f of 1 is equal to 1, that means when x is 1, you put it here, you just want to get 1. You don't want any of these. How can we make that happen? Well, all we need is multiply this by x minus 1. Right? This is the multiplication. Because, you see, when you put a 1 in here, 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 times 3, it doesn't matter. Of course, 0 times 3 is 0. You never put 0 times 3 as doesn't matter. That's not the answer. But anyway, so let's do the same thing for the others. x minus 1 here, x minus 1 here, and then x minus 1 here. Very nice, huh? Now, moving on to f of 2 being x3. Same idea. I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this. And to make that happen, just go ahead and multiply by x minus 2, x minus 2, x minus 2, and then x minus 2. Continue. For this right here, we need to multiply x minus 3, x minus 3, but not here, here, and here. f of 4. I need x minus 4 here, x minus 4 here, x minus 4 here, not here, but here. And lastly, f of 5 is this. Let's go ahead and multiply x minus 5, x minus 5, x minus 5, and then x minus 5. So far, so good. Okay, but will this really work? Let's think about this. For example, if I have f of 3 is equal to 5, let's look at this right here. When I plug in 3, these will be out. But the problem is that when I plug in 3 into here, they will contribute to some value that's going to ruin the 5. Ah, that's bizarre. But it's okay, because all we need is the following. Imagine if I plug in 3 into all the x's, Imagine if we can divide the same value, then it wouldn't matter anymore, right? So, why don't we just do 3 minus 1, you can work that out later, and then 3 minus 2, and then 3 minus 4, and then 3 minus 5. Ah, perfect! Go ahead, be my guest, plug in 3, they will cancel out nicely, and you do end up with the 5, and then the other ones will be 0. And that is the idea from Lagrange. And of course, we shall finish all that. So here we go. f of 1 is 1. So I have plug in 1 to all the x's. I will write them down for you. So 1 minus 2, 1 minus 3, 1 minus 4, 1 minus 5. f of 2 right here. So I will look at this. Plug in 2 into all the x's and divide. And then for this right here. Plugging the 4 into all the x's, so 4 minus 1, 4 minus 2, 4 minus 3, and then 4 minus 5, and that's the f of 5. So divide all this, 5 minus 1, 5 minus 2, 5 minus 3, and 5 minus 4. Now go ahead and do the algebra, combine it, truth to be told. I didn't check my answer. I don't know if you work this out, if you will get the same answer as the one from the post. So if you do, please let me know. But the idea is correct. I guarantee you that. That's it.